I'm gonna try to make a fast review of this Blitzwolf power station. First of all, I bought this as a solution to a problem that came up after my mother was diagnosed with apnea before a year. Although this health issue is quite common, uh, the problem that many other people with the same issues share apart from the obvious is that it is quite difficult to go camping when there is no electricity around to power up a CPAP machine. I wanted to find something that you could operate in a very easy way and also had to be lightweight and the third thing that I had in my mind is that this portable station had to be charged from solar panel. Now this is a Bleach Wolf 462 watt per hour portable power station. It's about 300 watts and 124,800 milliampere. It's made of aluminium and a very good quality of plastic. One thing also to mention is that this is a pure sine wave inverter which ensures safe charging and low electrical noise. In the front part we can see the power up uh, button. There is also a battery indicator type C charging port, a quick uh, charging port, two USB ports and here is the input port. From this port here we can uh, charge the machine through an AC wall socket and also we can use this to charge the machine with a solar panel or if you want with a single lighter socket. LED light here which has three modes, the half light mode, a strobe mode and also an SOS mode. Uh, here we can see also a built-in Bluetooth speaker. This is the control panel and also this is the auxiliary input of the wireless speaker. Now in the opposite part, here we see a DC 12 cigarette lighter socket and also there are three DC outputs and two AC outputs. Now the first uh, output port has a peak uh, power of about uh, 600 watts for one sec for sorry for two seconds and the second 600 watts for three seconds. I made some tests now with this machine with the support machine of my mother and uh, she had three full nights with eight hours of sleep per night. I would like to mention something interesting. The DC input of the CPAP my mother uses 13 volt. If it was a 12 volt or 24 volt, which is the case with most of the CPAP uh, machines, there would be no reason to use the AC output of the power station to run the CPAP because doing it this way you consume energy with no reason, converting the DC to AC and then back to DC because both the CPAP and power station use DC power. So what I would do is buy a DC to DC cable from a company I bought my CPAP or another company and in this way I would save more energy and that would keep the CPAP running probably for six maybe seven days which is quite great. Of course apart from the CPAP it can charge uh, multiple times devices such as mobile phones, tablets, laptops, charge batteries for cameras, drones and run everything up to 300 watts. One more thing that I forgot to mention is that, uh, depending where you live, it comes uh, with the European plugs like this one here, UK or USA plugs. Now let's make a small exhibition of the machine running the CPAP. First of all, this is uh, the CPAP my mother uses, it's a CEPAM Star Auto. It has a peak consumption of uh, 25 watts, it works between 20 and 25 watts. Here is the problem I was telling you about, this is a 13 volt input. So if we had a machine with 12 or 24 volts, uh, it would much be more efficiently working because we would have a, a cable 12 volts to 12 volts and these would uh, uh, run for this way for about a week. But anyway, let's have a look how it works. First of all, we have to power up the power station. We have to keep the button for about two seconds to power up. Now oop, we will power up also the AC outputs from here and the only thing we have to do is to plug the machine in the power station. This is it. Now you can see the machine working Let's power it on. Okay, it was very simple. Now 
Now it can work this way for three nights. Three nights with eight hours of sleep per night. It's also very easy to operate. It's, uh, it's five kilos so you can move it around quite easily. And uh, of course let's see some, of, some other aspects of the machine. Now we have to power it off again. Now let's see the light. This is the half light, the full light. This is the strobe, uh, sorry, the HOS. And this is the strobe. Okay, that was enough. Now let's take a look to the speaker. It works with Bluetooth. Okay, give me a moment. We have to power it up from here. Nice. Okay, now it's disconnected. So let's find the song. I think the sound is very good. As I mentioned earlier, this can be charged through a wall socket, through a power socket or through a solar panel. I'm going to talk about the solar panel option. According to the technical aspects, this machine can be charged with a solar panel of up to 100 watts. To make your life more simple, if you intend to buy a solar panel, which I think you should do, buy one with MC4 cables. These are the MC4 cables. This is very standard international uh, kind of uh, cable. In order to connect it to the power station, you have to buy an MC4 to DC cable. Now, this is the MC4 to DC cable. Here it is. It's very easy to operate. Just plug the female part to the male. From the male to the female. It is like this. And then you just plug it to the input port of the uh, portable power station. And that's it. After making a small uh, search to find uh, a good solution for an MC4 to DC cable, I bought mine from Sumline. The reason I prefer the Sumline cable is that it was a solid construction cable in contrast to some other competitors that their cables were very thin and some of them didn't work at all according to reviews. Apart from the cable with the DC 55 by 21 millimeter, this one, they sent me three more DC adapters. An 8 millimeter adapter, a 5.5 by 2.5 uh, adapter, and a 3.5 by 1.35 millimeter adapter plug. Also, a pair of MC4 solar panel connectors. And two wrenches for MC4 connectors. Now having this at hand, it is a piece of cake to charge your power station as we saw before. As I mentioned earlier, it took me around 6 hours to fully charge the machine. At the end of August, during a sunny day in Greece, in other places may need more hours and of course depends by the weather conditions. Now if you are interested about this solution to power up your SUPAP machine or other appliances, you can click on the links in the description and if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.